I think today went quite well and that uh, we were sampling at a time of the year when we expect to see a lot of young fish enter the lagoon, uh, reef fish and, uh, and others that are reproducing in the lagoon. And we caught a number of species that I hadn't seen in a number of years. So I, I think it went quite well to see these fish here again. Uh, there's some missing. I was looking for grouper, uh, young groupers that should be coming in here at about an inch in size. Uh, we didn't see those today, but if we probably sampled a little bit more, we might have gotten some. I think it went really well. We had a, a lot of fish, uh, a lot of different species of fish, uh, some unique things like the hog snapper and even spotted sea trout, uh, juveniles. Uh, and what it shows is not only the abundance of fish that inhabit seagrass like the moharas, huge abundance of those uh, recruiting into the seagrass, but also the juvenile species that depend on the seagrass beds for their health. They're pretty sparse in some locations compared to what I remember uh, years ago in this area being very thick and dense. But what's here is very healthy, it seems like. There's a lot of good growth. Uh, there's some thalassia, which is turtle grass that you find down in the Keys and Bahamas, and that's uh, the northern limit up in this area. So it's, it's good to see that at least what's here is thriving pretty good.